gonna cut you in the shop here! Stop here! Yeah. Well, you know what? It's a good exercise for to drop your, release your anger. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. After an hour of hand chopping, Lipu decides yeah, to go yeah, and yeah. negotiate a price to take the whole car back to the garage. Make it 60, we'll take the whole car and then get it out of the way. Yeah, it's only Bernie's money, don't mind spending that. Well, I don't care, don't talk. <laughs> And I'm using this. Oh, shit, heavy man, man. On the way out, Lipu spies another roof that takes his fancy, and this time it's not attached to a car. We've got two roofs, we've got two choices. See, see which one matches better. But there's always the worry that Bernie might not be delighted with their extra spend. Where the fuck are we going to put this? <laughs> Top of your head. I thought I'd get a logical answer. I've just got rid of a whole skip full of scrap, and now I've got more scrap to replace the scrap. Oh, beautiful. That's it, leave it there. Leave it there. <laughs> I think it's fine, it's fine right there. But so I can't give it a ticket, can I? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Next morning, the team are in early to chop the roof off the Avensis, but this time they're using a more traditional means of power. Well, we've got to get this roof off before Lipu comes in to see which one he likes and start getting it on the car because, you know, literally, again, we're running out of time. This is the critical moment where the signature line of the car is created. Lipu might consider himself a great artist, but he never puts his designs on paper. So neither he, nor anyone else, is exactly sure what will happen. It's time to visualise my whole concept for the car. Possessed with the first stage of a plan, he leaps into action. Hold the top, please. Then, by complete accident, a miracle. Wait, 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 don't touch it, don't touch it, wait. I like that already. It's beautiful. I know. So many unlimited ideas, unlimited concept, it's sitting out there. All I gotta do, grab them. When you shut the door, that stands up like an aerofoil. <laughs> so we can hang the washing on there, yep. eco-friendly, and dry while you're driving along. Yep. So, Bernie's still a bit cynical about Lipu's eco-project. Chop it! <laughs> Finally, the choppers get to work on transforming the Pajero. And Bernie, who only understands recycling if it means saving money, goes off in search of some doors. It's really like looking for a needle in a haystack. They've got to be the right doors, and he's very, very specific. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's so many parts here. It's just like being back in Bangladesh. they got everything here. I used to come here 24 years ago. I found myself a wife as well. Thank you. Spot on, spot on. Eco-friendly recycling is the name of the game. That's the way it works. I've got to bring the top in. There's got to be a method in his mad. This is what it is. I don't really know. So just click something. Let's see if it works. It would be great. Great change. One of Lipu's biggest challenges in reconstructing this boxy, gas-guzzling 4x4 is how to incorporate the curvy lines which have become his trademark. The second recycled roof is transformed into a curvy bonnet. The 
this looks nice. After a long chop shop day, Leepu and Bernie have a dinner in nearby Brick Lane, the East End's legendary Curry Mile. Alright, I'll go for the, you know the rup, rup chanda. It's what? Good. Rup yeah. chanda is a fish. Oh, that looks nice, yeah. Since becoming an eco-warrior, Leepu's been encouraging Bernie oh, to think laterally about the eco-engine, and he's hatched a plan. It's finished. Lovely, with extra, extra garlic. Here we go. Thank you. I got a good idea to fry fish, they need oil. Maybe. At least a litre. Yeah, it's a deep fry, something you would do. So, in, in Brick Lane alone, mm -hmm. waste about a thousand litres of oil every day. It's a rush me dinner. Leepu thinks oh, cooking oil could give them an unlimited fuel supply, but Bernie's is sceptical. Can you ask him what oil it is? Is it vegetable oil? Or... Eki oil, yeah? Kittel? Vegetable oil. Just okay. Okay. vegetable oil. But lifelong petrol head Bernie is unconvinced. The consistency looks very, very thin. And then I look at some of the other stuff they've got, and it's like, yeah, gunk. Um, in my brain, I'm thinking it's going to screw up the engine, it's going to screw up the injectors. The chefs give Bernie some oil to experiment with. <sighs> That's your oil? Yeah. It's got loads of stuff in it. <laughs> all right. All right. That's your right. challenge. That's your oil. Biggest challenge in life I have is working yeah. with you. Bernie might have the curry oil on his doorstep, but the expertise for using it is a hundred miles away in Wolverhampton. Very nice. My generation had no idea about depleting the atmosphere and the ozone and whatever. We just pumped it in, rev the bollocks off it and went. He's going to meet Clive, an expert in environmentally friendly fuels. So I've come down now to the experts because I need some advice. From the veg heads. From the veg heads, <laughs> yes, instead of petrol heads. Yeah, come down to the demonstration. Thank you. Wow, this is, this is the whole This is a demonstration, Rick, to try The and chief veg over. head explains to Bernie the finer points of how his company specialises in converting cars to run on vegetable oils. I'll show you the oils, Bern. Lovely. I'll give you some idea of... Um, which is good oil, bad oil, dirty oil. That's all the, the animal fats, the water, oh. all the crap, which you leave standing. We're using... Yeah, what is it? Use curry oil. Oh dear, problems, oh dear, never mind. <laughs> well, how about what, what we're doing, we're making an eco-friendly bargy mobile. Is that what you're we're making? We're going to call it the bargy mobile. Just make sure you filter it, because with a lot of Indian uh, cooking, they use a lot of powders. This guy has filtered it through his underpants, I think. <laughs> yeah, and look at the state of that. I mean, oh, we could not oh. believe it. Look at look that. Look at that. And that is an original filter. And How many miles has that one done? This is on waste oil, and he's done 21,000 miles Fantastic. on waste oil, which cost That's him nothing. That's incredible. So he did 21,000 miles. That is incredible. On that filter, and it cost him nothing. The visit's been a huge success. Finally, Bernie's found people who speak his language. Thank you very much. Nice to meet Anytime. you. Anytime. Oil's well that ends well, Bern. Thanks very much, and oil will be seeing you. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Bernie. See you, mate. Good luck. Coming up, Bernie gets to grips with environmentally friendly car fuel. Ah! That is horrible, Bern. But the festival deadline is looming, and the car has no wheels. Because of the mechanical fuck-ups, I'm trying to find a, find a quick way out to get the car ready for test drive.